Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing another boating familiarity tour. This is what we do for our clients when they come into town looking to um, buy real estate on the water or they really enjoy the boating lifestyle. Last time we left out of the same marina that we're actually at today. It's called Pineland Marina or Safety Harbor Marina here on Pine Island. Last time we took you guys on the tour of fun things to do on the south end. And today we're gonna be exploring the north end, specifically Boca Grande. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so just to put things in perspective for you, we are getting ready to take off. To my left, is the island of Cayo Costa and North Captiva where we took you guys last time and today we are going to be headed over in the direction of my right and we're gonna go check out and explore Boca Grande. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the Okay, we just entered in the Intracoastal Waterway. This part of Florida, we're on what's called the Great Loop. And it's a dream for many, many boaters to go on what's called the Great Loop because it's this path on the Intracoastal Waterway and along the East Coast that you can go all the way up to the Mississippi River, go around the Great Lakes, come down the East Coast and back down through around, I think Fort Lauderdale or whatever, and go down the Caloosahatchee River and come back around and complete the loop. And some people uh, just, dream about doing it and a lot more people even do it and so it's a very popular thing so you should check out the Great Loop if you ever want to take a tour of a lifetime but now we're heading up to stop number one so let's go check it out. Okay guys, one of our stops on our tour today, our Boca Grande tour, is this cool old railway here at Charlotte Harbor and Northern Railway. Um, this was used back in the day, guys. I'm gonna pan around here so you can see how the tracks go over the water. Um, this was used back when um, to service a port that was actually here on the island and it was also used to take passengers over to Boca Grande on Gasparilla Island. And it's actually really responsible for making Boca Grande such a popular tourist destination that it is today. Now, if you love the party scene and you enjoy a good barge party, this is the place to be. We're here on a quiet Friday, right before Labor Day weekend. But guys, this place is going to be lined up with boats this weekend. Um, they will likely have a band set up right here behind me and this place will be hopping. How the pink elephant is kind of tucked away in this bayou. But the downstairs area has a very cool vibe. The pink 
by the way, the downstairs area is nicknamed The Pink. How fun. There she is, the iconic pink elephant. This is the grouper taco. It's a special today. We normally don't get the grouper tacos, um, but let me tell you something. This is fantastic. Very flavorful, juicy. There's lots of purple onion and, and like avocado. Avocado. Oh, yeah, and um, mango. You make it sweet. It is. It's probably the best taco I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Holy crap! That is a. Lo well, never mind. Did I try that good or what? Oh man, that is so good. <laughs> Okay, now we're coming out of the canal from the Pink Elephant. Okay guys, we're right here in front of Miller's Eagle Grill and Dockside at the Broca Grande Marina. Um, this is one of our favorite places to grab lunch or grab a cocktail when we've been out boating. Um, they have a great place to pull your boat right up to and they have an amazing gift shop guys. You can grab souvenirs from Boca Grande out of their gift shop or you can rent a golf cart for the day and go all around Gasparilla Island via golf cart. You could take it to the beach or just go restaurant or bar hopping, but it is really a fun way to spend a few hours on Boca Grande. Oh, there's dolphins everywhere. Look at those. Amazing, come here babies, let's play. Here we are in the Boca Grande Pass, uh, which is just north of one of our favorite places, Cayo Costa, the state park. And so at the south end of uh, Boca Grande here, like May through July-ish, somewhere around there is the best tarpon fishing in the world. You'll come out here and you'll see hundreds of boats. And if you're just spectating and you watch them hook into one of these ginormous fish, it's fun just to sit and watch them reel them in and battle those monsters. So um, this is a cool area to come check out. As the sun sets over this picturesque landscape, we want to thank you, our incredible viewers, for joining us on this fantastic journey today. We hope you've enjoyed this glimpse of Boca Grande as much as we have enjoyed sharing it with you. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you never miss another adventure with us. Until next time, stay tuned for more exciting explorations and remember, the world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Thanks for watching, friends. We'll see you in paradise.